Nexus Services has announced that they have endorsed and will be providing logistical and other support to the Shenandoah Valley Militia and Citizens Response Unit. Nexus states that they are assisting the militia to help protect the community during the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. We're in a time of crisis in this country and in our locality. And, um, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic um, has forced us all to consider you know, what ifs? What what if people in the community are without food and water? What if they're without medical supplies? What if um, they are sheltering in place and something happens to their home and they need help? Um, who's going to provide that help? We have police, we have fire, we have rescue um, in this county and throughout the state of Virginia, but they're all taxed, overtaxed on a normal day. So in a period of crisis, we need to make sure that the community has resources. Many of the men and women who uh, train and, and, and practice these drills and these militia groups um, are people who are EMTs, they are nurses and doctors, they are people who can help. Prior to the pandemic, the militia addressed the Republican-controlled Augusta County Board of Supervisors, asking for their endorsement and support, but they were turned down. Texas graciously offered to uh, help us out. And since the county refused to, uh, we're taking Nexus's help and we appreciate it very highly. And the thing about this is, is this is gonna be so wonderful for the community because we're gonna do a lot of community outreach. We're, uh, we're gonna get supplies together and get them to folks that can't get out and get their own stuff. Nexus Services is a leading provider of immigrant bond securitization and services for detained individuals. The organization funds Nexus Derechos Humanos attorneys, whose aim is to increase access to justice for disadvantaged people across the United States. In full disclosure, Nexus Services is also the parent company to Breaking Through News. Now, some of our viewers familiar with the history between Nexus Services and the Shenandoah Valley Militia's president, Larry Lewis, might find it odd that Mike Donovan would support a group ran by Lewis. Back in March and June of 2018, Larry Lewis led armed protests against Nexus Services. However, the second protest ended with Donovan inviting Lewis and his fellow protesters onto the Nexus campus, which led to dialogue between the protesters and representatives of Nexus Services. Both men addressed how the relationship has evolved since that meeting. A lot of what I thought I knew, I, it was a misconception. I was misinformed on a lot of things, and uh, I did protest Mike. Mike sued me, and we sat down, and we had open dialogue. There's things that, I, like Mike said in his press release, there's things that I believe in that he doesn't agree with, and there's things that he believes in that I don't agree with. But at the end of the day, we can still find commonality and work together. We've had a lot of dialogue. And what we've learned from that dialogue is that we disagree on probably more things than we agree upon. But that the things that we agree upon are far more important. Far more important. Because the things that we agree on are life and death, being able to provide elements of support resources when people critically need them most, being able to, to, to stand up for corruption and, and speak truth to power even when it's not popular. You know, these are really, really important things that we can unite together on. We don't have to agree on everything. We just have to be able to unite when necessary so that we can continue to disagree on things. Lewis said his political beliefs would never affect his judgment when aiding the community. If I see somebody in need, I'm not gonna ask them what their political affiliations are because they're human beings just like anybody else. Whether they believe in what Trump does or whether they don't believe in what Trump does, it doesn't matter to me because we're all human beings and we all need we all need to help each other. And we need, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all created in God's image. The Shenandoah Valley Militia has listed as part of its mission statement to, quote, ensure that all citizens, regardless of race, color, religion, sex, physical characteristics or national origin shall have the right and opportunity to due process of law as established and guaranteed by the document which guides this great nation. However, back when Lewis was protesting Nexus, Nexus CEO Mike Donovan had called Lewis a white supremacist. When Larry Lewis and them were, were protesting you, you called them white supremacists. And 
do you support white supremacy and are these guys white supremacists? Well, I, I, I sued them. So I don't support white supremacy. I, I sued them for making statements that were false um, and doing that in that capacity of organizing those rallies. Um, but I, I will say again that it's really, really important to listen, especially to people that you disagree with. Not because, not just because you might learn something, but because only by truly listening can you reach people. And in listening to Larry, what I, what I learned is that he's a, a very kind, loving family man. He cares about his community, he cares about his family, and he wants to do good. Now, does he believe things from his life and his experience that I don't believe? Absolutely. Now, if I ask Larry if, if, he, if he's a racist, he'll tell you no. And he believes that. But you can't grow up in Augusta County uh, and, 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 and be a, a white person of privilege in Western Virginia and not hold some of those biases. You can't. That doesn't mean he's not a good person. In, in fact, uh, biases are an important part of how we come together and learn. You know, we, we have, you, you, if you think about it, the, the things that you've learned most important in life probably come from misconceptions first. The things that you remember learning are, are things that you corrected, a misassumption, um, a, 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 a thought process that was wrong. That's how you learn. So getting together with Larry Lewis, what I've been able to do, I think, is help him understand that some of the things that he's posted in the past and quite frankly continues to post, because again, from a political perspective, we don't see eye to eye, is some of those things are insensitive. And I've told him, and he's removed some of those things, and I appreciate that. He didn't agree with me. That's okay too. Uh, it's again, okay for people to disagree. I will never, ever, ever allow anyone with a racial bias in my presence to not know they're wrong. But I will always allow people who disagree with me to commune with me so I can help them become right. And at the end of the day, when I do that, inevitably, even from Larry Lewis, I learn something. And what I learned from Larry Lewis is that this is a man who's willing to throw his life down for his community. And there are very few people who really really say that and mean it. So the people of Augusta County are fortunate to have a Larry Lewis because he cares about you. Even if he doesn't agree with you, and even if he thinks that you're a bad person, he cares about the community. And that's inspiring. And that is part of what it is to be an American. And I've learned that from him. Hopefully he's learned from me that some of his insensitive postings are inappropriate. I've learned from him the importance of really committing to the community that you live in. In Verona, Theodore Whitelow, breaking through news.